hi. Where, where am I? Where's my me? Oh, okay, there I am. Hello, welcome to Wednesday and video games. I'm about as organized as I usually am, it seems. Hello. Oh, actually, let me make sure I remember to unmute the game. I feel like that's important. Okay. Hello and happy Wednesday. It's that time again where I play video games. I'm very excited to play this. I'll be honest, I've been sitting... I was like ready to go like an hour ago, 45 minutes ago or something. And I was very tempted to just start early. Because I have been really excited to play Inscription, so... But nope, I was just fully ready to start like an hour early. Uh, but I decided that would probably be- wait, what would you say? Bad manners? To post a specific stream time and then completely ignore it and just surprise everyone by being like 45 minutes early. So I decided not to do that. Figured it was a good practice not, <laughs> not to actively lie to people about what time I'm starting the stream. Consistency and such. But yeah. Sorry, I'm just getting all my ducks in a row and uh, checking Twitter before I uh, set my phone down for multiple hours. Okay, good. Twitter did work and post the thing. Glad. I like when Twitter works. It's not often, but fucking it's nice when it does. Ah, oh, I already did all my settings and everything before getting started. So in usual fashion, with not much preamble or anything, I'm gonna start playing the game because I'm really excited to play the video game. Get in, motherfucker. Continue. Hello? God, I'm so excited to play this. I'm such a fucking slut for card games. <laughs> Played much Slay the Spire and shit on stream before. I love games like these. Another challenger. Has been ages. Perhaps you've forgotten how this card game is played. Allow me to remind you. Play the squirrel card. Now play your stoat. Goats cost one blood. Sacrifices must be made. Honorable death. Play the stoat. Wolves require two sacrifices. You do not have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn. Commence combat. Goat stands unopposed. Number on the bottom left is its attack power. One. Stoat dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. You win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. My turn. Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. Coyote dealt two damage to your stoat. And your stoat's health is two less. The creature's health reaches zero, it dies. It's your turn again. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a squirrel. A squirrel. A doll. Wolf demands two sacrifices. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Oh, hey, stop. Good, he talks. Fear not, the beast is sacrificed, but not removed from your deck. The suffering was real. You will see it again. Three damage dealt, three weights on the scale. You are learning, I will pass. Again, the choice. Random card from your deck for the certainty of a squirrel. Might as well. River Snapper. I can't play that. But I do win, I think. Yeah. You've won this match. It won't all be so easy. Let me recall your story. 
Oh, yes. We're lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. God, I fucking love the ambience of this game. Two denizens of the forest approach you tentatively. Costa Gatter, damage from its poison bite, is always lethal. The undying cat, sacrificing the poor beast, does not kill. I like a cat. Another creature joins your caravan. Some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. You came across an abandoned sack. You found a scroll in a bottle. Break it in case of emergency. Have a second. Thanks. Another useful implement. Allow you to tip the scales with it. There is as much as you can carry. Got it. You were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. <laughs> you sacrificed me while I was sleeping. It was the right play. I get it. Maybe. You'll help me. Take your turn. Play along for now. You now see my moves ahead of time. Cool. W. Okay. Okay, so the cat does need blood to play it. Okay, so if I... And then I... And then now I have infinite one. I guess I'm gonna put you in front of the stump. Here we go. Yeah, let's just do that. Find the ambitious wolf cub. It ages swiftly. I think the only other thing I have in my deck is wolves, right? Let's draw one of them now. Just wait. Airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. Owie. Ah, my bat flew right over your cat. Oof, ouchie. Um. Squirrel. And then I place a squirrel. And then I murder. Not really in a good spot, mind you. <laughs> Okay, this can- this will swiftly become a problem. <laughs> a squirrel. Then at least I can do this. I'm gonna do three, four. I- so I attack first, so as long as I calculate how much I'm hitting for beforehand, it's probably fine. I wonder if he'll be mad at me. <laughs> hey, you understand, right? <laughs> wow, seriously. It's for winning! So close. Well, at least I know I'm fine. I just... shit out of you. Prevailed. Dragged onwards past the now bloodied terrain. Young wolf cub grows into a wolf after a single turn. The meek sparrow, an inexpensive, a feeble flying creature. Um, hmm. I start this with two wolves. Might as well take the sparrow. I might as well take the sparrow. You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. You are compelled to choose over a sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. <laughs> Looked upon the Najari, selected a healthy host. I won't pick you. I could pick you. Sure, I'll pick you. 
What an honor. And you fly now. A ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the sparrow now lives in the stoat. Ah, I see. Flying wolves! <laughs> the, old... <laughs> Fuck. the old my totem. It inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. He's completely insane. You see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough. Only keeps me around. Watch me suffer. Yeesh. Well, I'll play you back on the board. Probably not for long. Um, hmm. Take that for next turn. My totem has granted my coyote the power of flight. Owie. E. Right? At least this way I'll get good damage in. Or damage away from winning. Not anymore. We doing the same amount of- yeah, we're, we were doing the same amount of damage to each other. Now not so much. Well, this is bad no matter what. If I get the cat, the cat doesn't help me. Let's see. Yeah, I'd have to sacrifice the stoat, but the river snapper does like the exact same amount of damage. All right, get over here. Ah, no, not this. More wolves. Wolves solve problems. Oh, they did actually kill it though, thank fucking god. Yeah. You've lost. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Fetch me the candlestick from atop a barrel beside the door. Oh fuck. Did I see something touching the safe? Did I see that? Ugh. Hi. There are many puzzles in this room. Bring it here. Okay, there you go. Now sit back down. I can do that. Let me explain something to you. That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. You make another, I must sacrifice you. Now where were we? The flighty elf moves after attacking. The stalwart snapper, a near impenetrable fence. Watchful bullfrog leaps in the way of attacking flyers. Hmm. I already have a river snapper. Um. That elk. I don't like the look of that elk. Um, it's also another two blood card. I feel like I need to get more like lower blood cost cards. Campfire or the upgrade thing. Um, I'd have to sacrifice my cat for that. I think it's the only thing with a sigil I have, so. Oh, hi. You come across a small group of survivors. Face is shrunken from starvation, they huddle around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come, warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Or by the fire, the one hits its power, said another. You notice one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. Um. 
<laughs> yeah. It's fine, man. Uh, it couldn't possibly eat a wolf. Fire warmed the poor wolf, enhancing its power. When the survivors reached toward it, another gashed, gnashed their teeth. But a word, you pulled the wolf away from the fire and left. No fight time. Fucking grizzly bear. Okay, cool. Um, I'm just gonna put that down. Ah, wait, no, I shouldn't have put it there. Fuck me. Never mind. I'm gonna put the frog down. I'm not gonna put it in the way of the fucking bear because the bear's gonna kill it. Ugh, whatever. <laughs> Hello. The only thing I can play that won't instantly die to this bear is the river snapper, so we're gonna do that. What does this do? I'm probably gonna die here. Ugh. Gross. Well earned point of damage. I didn't think you'd really do it. Ow. My guy, you hurt my guy. Oh, this will kill it, I think, actually. Thank god. I can know some semblance of peace. Oh, there's a way out for both of us. Somewhere in this foul cabin. Silent, or I will tear you to shreds. Okay. Okay, it didn't die. Shockingly didn't die. <laughs> this play, you're sure? Fine, don't be a dick. Um, I have no items now, so I might as well go get the bag. Proud wolf. Vicious contender. I have a bunch of bulls. I'll take a sparrow. Are you winning, son? Um, I almost died already, but it's fine. <laughs> A rock may get you out of a hard place. If you deem it necessary, you may cut up one of my cards with these. Choose one. Scissors. Just from this may lift your creatures into the air, only for a turn. Rock. Powerful item. Turn this and I'll skip my next turn. Its bleeding yields three blood, and ignore the bleating. I'll take item. Congrats on not dying. Thanks. Feeling overburdened enough with a full three items, you carried on. Boss fight. The tree seemed to close in around you as a chill mist descended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. <laughs> Yeah, it was the prospector. <laughs> Forgot about this. Um. Oh, I got the cat. Give me my. Uh, wait, shit. You move. You bite. Kill. Um. Oh, actually, wait. No, it's good to play this. Cause if I play this and then stab it, I can play my bird. And if I play this and then stab it, I can play the frog. Not, a, not not really a powerful group of creatures, but seemingly useful, I feel. Whatever tanks damage. Uh, wolf, I could... I hmm, shouldn't have done that, I think. Yeah. It can't move. Okay, let's just do this. Uh, luckily the pack mule can't kill my cat, so I'll take that. You know, let's just drop you there, because she'll just fucking kill that. Now I just need to draw one of my- nope, that's not one blood, okay. Curious. Can't cut that, it's too thick. Okay, well never mind them. Hmm. 
I'm not gonna waste it on Coyote. Coyote's not really a problem. One blood. God damn it, that's another wolf. But fine, just fucking put the rock there. It's not my problem now. Erish. What is burrower? When an empty space would be struck, a card bearing the sigil will move to that space and receive the strike instead. Oh, so you block shit. Okay. Um, I don't really have a space to play the turtle yet, but I'll wait till this rock is dead. Oh, thanks. Ooh, birds for days! Look at the head of oh, no, fuck, I'm Doing the prospector again. Easy boss. Mule's key. I got it, I got it. While you were fucking napping, my mans, I killed the mule, so. I am out of creatures after this, though. That's, that, that feels uh, concerning. Oh, that's one, though. We didn't think it would be that easy. <laughs> There's gold in them cards. No! No! Oh, that's fine. <laughs> gold, I've struck gold. Cool. Um, I can't do anything until these are gone, right? Yeah, you're out of space. Okay, well, fuck me. An opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space. A card bearing the sigil will move to that empty space. Okay. Not great. A stoat, you want to be a sacrifice? I wouldn't do that to you. I might do- how much damage do you do? Not enough. Fuck me. Okay, um... Need two for that. Okay, you're gonna be a sacrifice. You sit there. What am I doing? Fuck you. I'm just gonna kill it. Nothing there, so that's just gonna hit the rock at first. So at least I can get damage in. Okay, whatever. I could just keep... I could just keep putting squirrels in front of that, can I? Until my bird slowly kills him. That work. Uh, <laughs> it will work for a very short amount of time. Please kill him before that wolf gets here. Okay, I... <laughs> That'll have taken a toll on you. Your supply of new creatures was exhausted. Starvation began to set in. Hmm. God damn it. <laughs> exactly in my way. So I can't... This should be fine, because that's... That'll go over the snake, meaning I still hit him. So I win. Thank God. Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. Cool. The first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you are granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. Okay. The Unspiring Gek. Perhaps you can find a use for it. The level of brutish strength needs no explanation. Uruuli. Uruuli. What the fuck? A largely unimpressive specimen. Wow. Thanks. <laughs> so, I can either choose a massively powerful card, but I need a shit ton of blood for it, or two little guys who are so pathetic. Card bearing this sigil will grow into a more powerful form after one turn. I mean, I guess I'll take him. The sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carried onwards. Hmm. The rank smell of rot and mold permeated the humid air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slipper slither. 
tread cautiously the wetland. New card or this? Um. Oh, I can see my deck. Not, not looking good, gang. <laughs> um, so I can get new cards if I go this way. There's the power up thing. Then there's a fight, another new card, and a campfire. Blood thing, items, bird totem. I feel like this way is safer. I need better cards. Ah, the elusive otter. It's merged itself during my turn. Like a wolf cub. I need more one blood cards, so. I don't think I got much to sacrifice. Oh, I have a lot to sacrifice. Okay, um. I could give flying to something. I'll make a flying wolf. Here, let's make a flying wolf. Perfect. I'll go into battle with my flying wolf. You also fly, I guess. Let's see what this turns into. Oh my god. Yeah, that's not very good for me then. So I'm gonna put it not directly in harm's way. It'll probably serve me better. Mothman! It only has... only has uh, one HP left. Due to poor decisions on my part. And you will kill this. It's fine, you're gonna kill it. Ah, oh, you won't kill it. You're not gonna hit it. Alright, sorry my man, I did just kill you. Sorry about that. Oh, it's fine. Uh, I am winning, yes. Yeah! <laughs> you can tell me more damage than you needed to win. Over in my games, the treats are rewarded. To be precise, a tooth to keep for each extra damage dealt. Trapper may be interested in your spoils. Goat? The apophysized goat. Truest offering. Sacrificing against three blood. Okay. Um. I don't have anything that needs three blood yet. A curb bearing the sigil deal damages another creature, that creature perishes. So this kills anything it hits, no matter what. That could be useful. I'm gonna take that, actually. A group of starving survivors stood around a dying campfire. There's room for a creature on the fire, one said. Mournful will enhance its power, said another. One of the forever said nothing at all, but could not stop licking their lips. <laughs> no way. Alright, um... I need to upgrade my other wolf. The power of the wolf was enhanced by the warmth. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket, you withdrew. Okay. That's fine, none of them have died yet, or been eaten. Oop. I think do that first. E? My frog's gonna come in handy at least. Perish. Tiss. Gross. Hello. I'll leave it as is.
Oh, my frog. <laughs> Total misplay. Shut up. Oh. Did I neglect to mention overkill damage? Excess damage is not wasted. Carries over to the card behind the mangled corpse of the victim. Lucky for you. I got a B. Ow! Skip your next turn, please. <laughs> I want to learn how this game works before my dreams are crushed. I'm obligated to pass. Oh gee, I wonder why you have to do that. That's so wild. Um, undo overkill damage. Yeah, because that won't hit the B, will it? Oh, it does. Oh well, I still got overkill at least. The inv. Fallable beehive. When it is attacked, it will draw a bee. Oh, I could get another cat. Um, don't really think a bee is going to do much good. This can't get hit, which is good because I guess I could use it as a blood sacrifice if I ever need to. Because it can't die because it always submerges on the opponent's turn. I'll attack the owner directly. I mean, that's not awful. I already have a cab, but part of me is tempted to take another one just so I could actually fucking draw it for once. Um. Hmm. I wonder if I should give Undying to something. Nah. Powerful poison. You give poison to a cheaper card. I need something that has damage to attacks. I could give it to the River Snapper. So it becomes not only a tank, but like insta kills anything. Oh! Hi, hi. Hi, hi! Hi, Moon! Thank you for resubbing. Twelve months? When the fuck did you start <laughs> subbing to me for twelve months? Has it been a year? That's fucking insane. Thank you. Welcome to card game. You bird fight? Is this a fight? Yes, it is. So, birds that can block flying things. Do they still fly? Yes? Yeah. Yes, you do. Okay. Um. I, I should... I want to put you here so you don't die and can reach your full potential. That's going to open me up to much damage. <laughs> Oof, ouchie. I'm probably gonna die. Kill you. With my otter. You do no damage currently. God, I didn't see. How much damage does that do? Because it might kill me. How much damage? You do one damage. Okay, that's fine. So many teeth. Damn it, <laughs> you do damage. Well, that was fast. <laughs> many, many teeth. How disappointing. Listen, man, I'm learning. Don't be mean to me. We are stopped along the way by a trapper looking to liquidate his pelts. Something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his wares. Hello. Have a look at me pelts. A pelt free of charge. See the quality. You're leaving already? Oh, sorry, I didn't know that would mean I would leave. Um... I don't know how many teeth I have, I have a lot. Can I count them? Oh, sick. I'll buy a fancy one. 
I have one rabbit, so I'll just buy a wolf one. There, I got like one of each. Thanks for your business. The man assured you of the value of the belts. They appear to be useless in a fight. But he mentioned that the trader further down the path would reward you for them. If I survive that long, you mean? Um. Toad, or not totem. A sigil, attack power, and item. I have no items. So that feels like it would be useful. Um. Skip a turn, pull a tooth, or goat. I'll take skip a turn. Take the scissors. Um. And more scissors? Now time for another boss fight. Hello. A foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. A hulking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged into the dark water. But he pulled a hook from the pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. Hello. I'm the angler. Go fish. Okay. Oh, my cat! Go ahead. Please. My cat. <laughs> Alright. Damn it, the wolf belt can't be sacrificed. That was, in fact, exactly what I was going to do. Which fish? Hard to choose. Oh, that's fine. Oh my god, please kill that. If, if that's your option, kill it. Yeah, I'm not gonna play another card. I'm scared to try and kill it. Although I'm gonna die very quickly. Mine now. <laughs> yeah, you can take it, dude. You can have the pelts. I'm not gonna argue. Um, I'm gonna just play that preemptively, not that there's anything in the way. Okay, good. Now I'm not gonna die immediately. No, my cat! <laughs> Stale fish, hard to choose. Dude killed my cat. That's fucked up. I'm just gonna preemptively kill that. <laughs> yeah, you can take the squirrel if you want. Take fish, go fish. Oh, thank god. Um, hey, Stoat. You're awesome, and you're gonna go there, because that bullfrog will instantaneously kill you. <laughs> Die immediately. I'm past the first phase, at least. I'll take that. Uh... Too fast, too soon. Hey, that's not- Hey, man, that's not cool! Not now, draw a card first. What the fuck? Okay. Squirrel. Put squirrel down. Skip your turn. <laughs> Kill- How <laughs> much damn- Okay, I'm gonna do- Five damage. He skips his next turn. I'm gonna do f pass. I think I win. <laughs> what happens now? <laughs> Let me relight your candles. Very well. You may choose a rare card. You seem angry. You don't seem happy that I did that. The prudent pack rack never dealt the utility of a well-stocked pack. Poor abandoned child. Do not die when sacrificed. You have the heart to try. Is that like the cat? And then the gek. I mean, the gek could just be a freebie for sacrificing. Although I have a weird feeling the game is going to kill me as quick as possible in a second, so perhaps the choice doesn't matter. I'll take the baby. I'll take the baby with me. You considered one of the anglers catches as a meal. The rank order- ort- odor? God. Deterred you. Dinner would have to wait. Let me see. Frigid gust of wind billowed, unwelcomed into your lungs. The beauty of the falling snow failed to distract you from the chill in your bones. I descended 
the snow line. I do think he's gonna murder me the next fight I'm in. <laughs> Fucking glowing red eyes. You encountered a small outpost in the woods tended by a mysterious woman. It was the traitor that the old trapper had mentioned. Her appearance was unsettling, but you were mollified by her offerings. Do you mind if I examine those pelts of yours? Uh, Start with your hair pelts. Here's what I can offer. Ooh, they have a lot of options. I can get a bear? You <laughs> trade you one of these, take your time. I want a bear. If I get a bear and a goat, I could actually use it. Bear. Oh, wolf pelts too. Exquisite. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, wait. I need a goat for sacrificing, but it has the thing where it will immediately try and <laughs> kill itself if it's... Okay, that's not helpful. Um, Anti-air on. Bee... <laughs> bees within otter. This is also bees within. You struck a bee is created in your hand. A bee is defined as one power, one health airborne. Okay, none of these seem particular. Oh, wait a minute. What the fuck is this? Card bearing sigil will strike each opposing space to the left and right. Does three damage. Also hefty. At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. Creatures in the way will be pushed in the same direction. Okay. But it hits twice, so that, does that mean it does six damage? It has seven health. So again, if I can get a goat to sacrifice for it, that does that's really useful. What about for this? Is that a gold impel? Magnificent. Oh, get one of these guys. Um Did I take child 13? I did, right? Yeah, so I have child 13 in the cat. Um I already have the larva. Pack rat, I guess? Card bearing the sigils played, you will receive a random item as long as your pack is not full. Okay. These pelts are most are most excellent, my thanks. And then pack, campfire, or... Yeah, okay, let me... I don't think- I haven't died or anything. I'm on my first run still, so I don't think... Uh, I don't like how you're looking at me if you're fucking glowing red eyes. Anyway. Marching swiftly to my death. Um, I'll go... Here, I feel like I should combine a card or something. What sigils do I got? Not die, anti-airborne, regrow, regrow, water. This could be useful, because it means it can't get hit. Meaning if I put it on, like, a wolf or something, then the wolf can't be hit on my turn. Meaning I can, like, it'll bypass and hit me, but, like, my damage dealer can stay alive. I should put on the fucking grizzly bear, actually. Hmm. Thinking and thinking. Again, I keep saying that I'm expecting the game to kill me because I really feel like I shouldn't have won that fight or anything, but, um... Do it on the wolf just because the wolf is easier to summon? Yippee! Alright, fight time. Egg. Spawn. Next, you can't do damage. Wait. Yeah. I guess it doesn't matter where I put this because it can't get hit. 
It's not gonna block anything. Oh fuck it, I'll put you over. Ah, mm. That feels like a bad idea. Either way, four damage is four damage. Yeah, you now do six damage though. Creepy. <laughs> Okay, if I... Well, this is bad, because if I draw a card, then I can't play anything. If... And they fly, so that doesn't matter. So best I can do... is... play Child 13 to be a barrier block there, but that doesn't help me. He's gonna win, because these overseed me, so it's gonna do 4 damage. Oh no, you're gonna... No, it's gonna even out, I think, actually, because that's flying, so it... Oh god, game mechanics are game mechanicing. It's fine, it's gonna even out because I do four and then he does four. And you killed- fuck, my fucking wolf. <laughs> well shit, I can't do anything about this because I have a fucking twofer. So again, even if I- even if I, uh, draw a creature, I can't play it. <laughs> Gonna set a squirrel down. I can't do anything. My deck. I need a better deck. Anyway. <laughs> I hoped for more. Listen, man, don't be mean to me. Just a little guy. Can you give me better cards? The Nas- the Na Nansent? Nonsent? Fawn. Quickly grows into an elk. Regal moose. Creatures of the wild make way for it. I have the moose. I'll take an elk, I guess. You did nothing wrong. Thank you, thank you. Let's get items. Scissors. That pitiful opossum. <laughs> okay. The user. A frozen opossum was created in your hand. A frozen opossum to find as 05. Or zero power, five health, frozen away. Hey, okay, wait. How do I flip through the pages? Wait. Damn it. Oh, there we go. Here we go. When a card bearing sigil perishes, the creature inside is released. Hmm. I'll take that. And I'll take that, I guess? me. Hi. Walking airborne creatures also jumps in the way to do damage. God damn, the moose is here. Um. I get child 13 on the board, I guess. And I can summon the wolf next turn. It does zero damage. Oh, hi. What the fuck? You do damage now. Why not sacrifice child 13 until right now to see that it does that? Yes. I could sacrifice the stoat to the moose. <laughs> Feels like... Oh, it toggles. Keep me alive. No, you are dying next turn. Okay, so every time I sacrifice it, well, I could keep you alive. Gross. I could keep you alive very briefly by killing that moose. Here, you can live for an extra turn. Ah, oh, that fucking, fucking mole is a problem. Um... Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'd have to sacrifice all three of these to play my moose. Um, I'll just wait. Oh, right. Overkill. I forgot about overkill. God damn it. Should have pulled a tooth. I wasn't thinking. <sighs> oh, don't grab me. I don't like this. Oh, I did die. 
Though I think, like I said, I think I lasted far longer than the game actually wanted me to, seeing as this is supposed to be a tutorial, I think. Hi! You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you for a favor. I'd like a memento. Oh. Your very own death card. Quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We'll work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. There are some cards from your mediocre deck. You can We can put them to good use. We choose a card to draw the cost from. Cost of one blood from the strange larva. And another, this time we'll use its power and health, the numbers. Obviously the wolf, oh my god. The sigils? Oh god, um... Obviously the moose, right? Because then it- because it will take both of them. So it's gonna do- so this card will do eight damage and push shit. Yeah, for one blood? Please? Never did ask your name. Here you go, man. There's now but one final matter. The portrait. <laughs> Blood artist is the achievement. Are you ready? You do not need to smile. Wait. Okay. Well, I just made an insanely powerful card, so that will probably help me in the future. Oh, I have items. Here we go again. Another challenger. Perhaps it is time... Perhaps you can understand bones. The bones. The resourceful opossum costs two bones. You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes, for any reason. I see. Oh, he's sleeping. Haha. <laughs> in the death of your creature, you gain a bone. Do not lose this until it is spent or the battle ends. So if I... Oh, I can't, I can't sacrifice... <laughs> Time to die! Bones! Yes, bones. Okay, so I can't... So with blood, you can, like, choose a card and then do the sacrificing. I can't preemptively sacrifice something to gain the bones. I have to have the bones before it'll let me try and sacrifice something. Got it. Much da you do like one damage, you're not worth it. Let me put that down, I can do big damage. But you also do three damage. <laughs> Tragic. Um. Oh, you gave me like no cards, you bastard. Whatever. Frog. All right, new mechanic. Bones. Oh. What? I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. Okay. It's beside the safe. There is a hand. There was a hand there. I wasn't crazy. It's moving. The safe's moving. Yeah, it is. It's moving. Cool. That... Oh, that's probably... Fine. Squirrel raven egg. Got it. I get it. I totally get it. Oh, toof. The things did change from when I died last time. This lad turns so fast. Hello. We move with purpose, we do. So I got a tooth. I snuffed out a candle. And this is here now. I'm assuming that is a thing. Oh! <laughs> 237. 2? Oh, wait. That is. Okay, wait. 2. 
three. It's already on seven. Night. No? That's not how safes work. With the rotating Keelys on. Two. Three. Seven. Am I dumb? Did I misread the save? Did I misread that immediately? <laughs> Two. Seven. Three. <laughs> Oh, hi! Oh, hello! I wasn't sure if I would ever escape. That iron crypt. Is, is the stoat around? Stunted wolf. Madness must end. Put that away. Okay. Can I take, take key? Oh, I probably have this figure in my hand. It probably won't let me pick that up. Let us continue. I'm actually gonna get up and immediately just yoink. That probably goes here. Oh. Azel? Azel. Uh. Oh. I forgot that I put that there. Very well, me. Add, you may add it to your deck. And I'll deal you one every so often. Okay. Oh god. So no damage. That's four. Don't. Obviously, I do no damage. Then I do three damage. Then I do no. What the? Oh, that works. Formal creatures, those ants. Very well, I will add them to your deck, make them available for future challenges. Ah, uh, bugs. Cool. Alright, me out. Oh, more! I love puzzles! That's three. It's four. Nope. Okay. So the bugs, how much do they account for? Four. Or, well, no. Okay, so they do damage per bug on the fucking table or something. Oh, there we go. Caged wolf. Curious. Thanks. What are all these cards I'm getting? I was just bitching that my deck wasn't good. It's too damn. Nope. Yep. Can't move that one. Doing three damage. I don't know what Lizard Lad does. Oh, because it explodes? No, it does do more damage. This doesn't help me. Yeah. Oh, there we go. But having met her, the wood carving is meaningless. Time you will understand its power. Okay, that's all four of those at least. 
Man, the lengths I'm going to to not sit back down at this table right away. Excuse me. I already got the two from that. I don't know what that means. Can't get that. I already did the candle. Can't do anything with that. Okay, I think I'm good to sit down. I can't think of... Have you done the safe? Oh yeah, no, we did that first. That's the first thing I started doing before I started running around. His eyes look good for poking. <laughs> Stop that. Eager coyote, but what did you expect for only four bones? Oh, this is all bones creatures. Ferris rattler, brittle creature once past its monstrous fangs. Unkillable cockroach, it returns to your hand after dying. Don't sit, I want to show you something. Put a bandana on him. Oh, God. Here, give me a second. Let me pick a bone creature. Let's take the cavity. Now you're free to get up again. Keep your blood flowing. I don't like when you say it like that. I'm no tyrant. You may stand whenever the map is unrolled. Let me time to plan for your next encounter. You keep your hands off my possessions. It's too late for that, dude. I did that a lot. Um, how did I flip pages again? I want to skim through this really quickly. There were sigils. I saw. Title lock. Omni strike. Leader. God, there's a lot of these actually. There's ants. I shall go to the cage briefly. I just want to read some of these. I am doff playing at my own- what the fuck? My own pace. Mirror. Bell ringer. Card counter. A bunch of boons and shit. Okay. Hello. Oh, no, it just counts as clicking. M. Hello, guy. Oh yeah, I saw this guy earlier. I've been fucking with him. Same with this fucker. It's used to unlock the dagger. I figured counterweight, right? Give me those scissors. Oh, hi. You again. Indeed! A friend freed me. Well, I basically told them how to do it. No, you didn't! You got a plan. We have another friend here. You've got to be- I wouldn't call him a friend. But I suppose we are in deep this time. Okay. So, ants are the ones that I need more bugs to. Is it just ants or any bug? It's only ants. Okay. That does not help me. Go forth! You sure? As sure as I can be. Alpha. That's not good. I was reading about this. Yeah, they gain power. Okay, you have two health. Hmm. I need bones for you. If I do this, then this. Back in the game. At least I can kill this. The fucking rock can do damage. I'd love it. Okay, um. You do one damage, it can take you two turns to kill. Eh, uh, I'll just wait. Currently not in a desperate rush, I would say. I'm trying to overkill, I guess. Card bearing the sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place, and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. Okay. Well, I can't really do more damage than I'm already doing with these guys, so... New card. 
Getting an ant wouldn't be bad, I guess. Quivered Mantis. His prying claws strike both to the left and right. Niving Raven. Light upon the skies. And me! Of course I'm taking this one. It's fucking insane. <laughs> I don't need items. I don't want to mess with any sigils. Not really. Go campfire then. Warm light of a campfire was a welcome sight, though the ten hungry eyes around it dampened the greeting. Creature. Pick something else. Oh. Alright. What am I- I feel like it, with this it's always a risk of losing the creature, so... Stars were right about the flames. It enhanced the creature's power. Please don't eat my dog. Okay. How much damage do you do? More damage? Let's put you down, actually. Bad play. Dick. Be good for being a dick, dude. Nope. See, it's fine. Oh, that rock can hit me again. It's hard to call it cowardly. Hey. I sacrifice. You're gonna hit the rock. I only have two health yet. So the only way I can get it to hit the wolf is by killing you. I'm also gonna do that since I can. Yeah, there we go. So now the rock's not a problem. That's a problem. Um That's a problem for later. I can't sacrifice the tree. <laughs> Sadly. Cool. <laughs> I haven't gotten a lot of overkill. Not as good as first time, shockingly. Uh, how many do I have? Two first. I got one really good one. It's actually kind of better for me to get one of these and one of these, I find. This gets me one of the rare cards, but I don't really have the means to play any of them yet. If they have higher blood costs. I wonder if I can get another sigil on my card. I feel like a good sigil to put on it, though. It's currently it hits twice. It's twice and pushes things. I can, I can make it anti-air. I'm not gonna kill you because you're important. Uh, we'll go with the fire then. What could possibly go wrong? Stop this. Do what you must. God, they're so- they're such downers. It's like they think I'm gonna kill them or something. Gosh, um, make you stronger. Kinda low level, so... Now that I have my death card from the last run, I feel like this will go pretty smoothy. Smoothly. Lucky draw. Dick. Here, how about this, just for you? actually gonna play this just to keep that mole busy I suppose god damn it eh, I'll just go <coughs> him oh, fuck him 
Would it be smart to play the wolf? Here, where it's gonna take damage. Wondering. I'm assuming once the health goes down, it's just gonna break out, right? God damn it. That's fine. You're dead. Oh. Oh, caged wolf. I just got that. God damn it. I just just made the connection really delayed. That's cool. Um what was that? Don't worry about it. Um <laughs> nervous sweating. Don't worry about it. Oh, hey, a wolf. Um oh, I'm not going to sacrifice the stoat for the ant queen, so I'm just going to put the squirrel there in the meantime. Uh can I get a one blood? Ooh, four bone. I got that. Success! God, oh, this is fun. And na na nascent. I don't know what that word. A nascent raven. No less conniving than in its inky. I think I need that. Wait, let me take that. Can I. Wait. Let me back out for multiple reasons. Yeah, so I need a squirrel and egg on table. Um. Wolf, wolf, ah, wolf. Come here, but you. Cool, give me that. You finally pried my special dagger from the paws of that squirrel. You may wish you hadn't. Scared I'm gonna stab you with it? Ah. Uh. Our fire. I want to see if I can get away. Oh. Not food, one said. Join us in it. <laughs> nope! Okay, don't be cannibals. I really want this to be stronger. Okay, cool. Don't be cannibals. I'm just gonna take that back. That's my me, and you can't eat it. <laughs> Oh? God damn it, my boss battles are high stakes tests of your aptitude. One flame, you'll either overcome them or die. If you're not, I will let you keep the smoke. Okay. The incessant clank, clank, clanking reverberated between your ears. The path ahead was blocked by a grotesque figure. <laughs> it was the prospect. <laughs> Okay, so what? God damn it, I got the squirrel and the egg to do the opener thing that the, the board wants. But that doesn't help me. Um... So many bones. I guess I'm gonna do that as an opener. I'll do that. The pack mule can't attack me, at least. Okay, this will make a good sacrifice for the wolf now. Luckily, I have lots of bones, so once I draw a bone card, that will be really useful. <laughs> Let's see. Pelt. I could block with that. Mm. God damn it. These freaking two blood creatures are gonna be the death of me, I swear. There goes my lads. Okay. This is kind of bad no matter what. Let me think about this. 
like a squirrel now. I'm gonna save the scissors for the dog, because the dog's a pain in the- God, there's so many bones. The dog's a pain in the ass. Please, can I draw a creature I can play? God damn it. Kill that. It's only two damage. Don't know what the knife does. The user replace a weight on the scales. The pain is temporary. Well, cut up a card. We'll place a weight on the scales. The pain is temp. It's the same description. The pliers rip one of my teeth out. What does the fucking knife do? Um, I'll see if it gets desperate. And if it gets desperate, then you know, please. Please, I'll take it. I. That's fine. I'm trying to get one of my bone creatures because I have so many bones. God, fuck. That will kill that at least. Um, yeah, let's just do that for now. Okay, what I'll do... Squirrel... Kill these. To kill that. The opossum does two damage now, so that makes it a bit more of a boon. There we go. Thank you. Okay, yeah, let's go for overkill now, I guess. Draw a card. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Prospector boss again. Yes, yes. Hmm. I guess the alpha? Technically, we'll wait. Three. No, playing the alpha does the same as playing another wolf, I think, technically. <laughs> Let's see. Blood. I'm going for overkill at this point, so. You do less damage. I can't kill the fucking rock, so we'll go with this. There we go. That's not that bad. Need a light. Thanks. I didn't have to use the knife. Oh boy, all these weird creatures. Oh, what? Hmm. I mean, my death card from last time is kind of a powerhouse, if I can ever draw it. The ants are kind of useless, I wish I could get rid of them. I'll go for child 13, for the blood stuff. After the harrowing encounter with the prospector, you gathered yourself and continued onwards. Yippee! Let me think. The air grew thick with moisture. The buzzing and chirping of insects drowned out the sound of your footfalls. You beheld the wetlands. Hey. Okay, let's see if we can get some good cards for the deck we're building. Uh, two of them. I can get a fucking grizzly bear. I kind of want more bone cards. I keep building up bones and then not having a use for them. Okay, so I can get the rattler or the bat. Radler. I'll go for the alpha as well. Oh, <laughs> a beloved cat. Bushy cat. Oh, I get I could get a vulture, I guess. Like okay, let me look at these actually. Rat king that flies and gives me bones. A mole that that's useless, I would say. That's literally wait, don't these literally cancel each other out? Is this one means that on my turn it'll block stuff so I don't get hit. But this one means that it dodges all attacks on my- like when- on- 
They literally cancel each other out. What bullshit. Undying Goat. Oh, fuck. That's really good. Give me that. I don't have a lot of high blood cost cards, but that's really good. That means if I can summon that goat, then I can just keep stabbing it to summon, like, anything in my deck. That's really useful, actually. Fuck. Uh, da -da -da -da. So if I do the sacrifice, do a totem fight, I can see the health guy again, because I have a bunch of teeth. Then... I want get- I don't want my deck to get bloated, is the problem. Cause like, the ants are already a problem for me, cause they're already getting in my way. My fucking Slay the Spire experience burrowing deep into my skull. Um, hmm. What do I have for items? Is it just the knife? I think it is, yeah. Alright, well... You okay, note the self, I need to do that fucking raven egg thing if I'm given the chance again. We'll go this way. Bone tokens for a rainy night. Big bones. I could take double bones. Um. Take double bones. Oh god, why did I only draw bone cards? Motherfucker. Give me that. It's four of them. Okay. I'm gonna do this. Um. Keep me alive. Oh, buddy, I'll try. Um, can I even hit these? Wait. Curb bearing the sigil submerges itself during its opponent's turn while submerged opposing creatures attack the owner. Strike an opponent directly, even if a creature put. So, unless I put a, like a frog type thing there, then. It doesn't really matter. Let's do that. Yeah, okay. Um. I'll draw a scroll, I guess. Oh, E. Thanks. Well, I won that. Okay. <laughs> anyway, moving on. All right, new card. This game is odd, oddly, oh, oddly relaxing. M Minsky, Minsky. An opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space. A card bearing the sigil will move to said empty space. Dark quills. Once a creature bearing the sigil struck, striker is then dealt a single point of damage. So for one bone, you could block damage, and hit something for one damage. Mantis does two damage, but I'll t I'll take Kaminsky. I'll give him a chance. Okay, how about I should I should give some, I should try and give Pixel another sigil. Wait, I could sacrifice Kaminsky and give Kaminsky's sigils to this one. So what will that do? It'll make it guard stuff, which is bad. It doesn't have a lot of health. I could do damage when it's hit. No, okay, that's not worth it. I could... I could give the, the skink thing the pixel. Because what that does is it can dodge at least one hit as long as it can move to the right. Which could be useful. It's also the anti-air thing. The alpha leader thing. Hmm. Alpha thing could be useful. God, decisions, decisions in my card building games. I have to do one of these. I can't skip this, can I? Um, I'm in here now. I need the egg for that wall thing. What do you do again? Yeah. I have the goat now. I guess I don't really need child 13 to be undying, do I? I could get rid of child 13 and put that on pixel. Then I could at least use pixel for blood, I guess, while it's on the table. I'll do that, I guess. I don't really have anything better to uh, do, I think. 
rad. Okay, ooh, is that a remove a card? That could be useful. What would I want to remove if I'm just removing one of them? The ants kind of suck, but they are better together. It's just I've never been able to make them useful ever yet. So a blood thing, which I don't know what that does. I can either do a normal fight, gain a card, get the backpack, and then do the then do a boss fight or fight. Or I could do a totem fight, blood thing, remove a card, boss fight. I'll go this way because I should start experimenting with some of these other like events on the map. Do you have birds that push shit? Oh yes! Thank god! Goat! My goat! <laughs> Literal and figurative goat? Oh, awesome. That's awesome. What a good first draw. Oh, you will die instantaneously, but you helped you helped me. Okay, so Oh, you can't move to the right. Shit. Okay, well, you also won't be hit by those things, I guess, so. Um, what's the best idea here? I have two bones. Nothing I have is two bones. You're four bones. Okay, this is fine. Oh, well, I... I didn't... Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I'm good at this game or not, but at least I... I seem to be doing good damage, so, um... Must make a different kind of choice now. Choose not a specific beast at the cost that you wish to pay. One blood, two blood, or bones? Hmm. A random card for cost of two. Oh, that's not what I thought this was. What were you expecting? I thought I was gonna sacrifice something that had two blood, and then I was gonna sacrifice the ant queen. I don't need more fucking two cards. We came across some familiar stones, but something was different. You, init you intuited that the fate of the creature selected for this would not be pleasant. Okay, who am I killing? Please no, choose wisely. I could just kill the snapper I was just given. Uh, possum is fine. You cost two bones, I should probably keep you of course. Keeping you. I could kill the ant queen. She is yet to be useful. Um. At least this could be like a tank, I guess. I also could just kill Kaminsky. <laughs> Sorry, man, I got you to give you a chance and then proceeded not to use you, and now I'm killing you. Callously slaughtered Kaminsky. However, the Bone Lord was pleased by your sacrifice. A minor boon of the Bone Lord will start each battle with an extra bone. That's sick. Took off the viscera of the poor Kaminsky and carried onwards. He died for a good cause. Ironically, ironically, that one, <laughs> that one bone that I'm earning from this is now enough to uh, to summon. It would have been enough to summon dear Kaminsky. Oh, that's an instant win. Okay, good to know that if I get myself in the opening draw, I can just instantly win something. Coolio, coolio. Um, I'm getting a new card no matter what. Let's try and get like a one blood card. Yeah, I'll take a one blood. Lewis. Hello, Lewis. You move and go underwater, so you can't be hit and you move around. Okay. I currently have bones and a knife. Should I try and get a third item before the boss or upgrade something? Let's see if I can get a pair of scissors. Nope. Okay. Um, <laughs> take bones. probably fine.
Mud, t mud tugged hard at your feet, forcing you to slow your pace. A rank order odor caused your stomach to churn and your eyes to water. It was the rotting fish that hung from the branches around you. Huge man approached. Go fish. Thank you for bone. I did not get myself in the opening turn. A very, very sad day. Um, kill you, put you here. I have two bones, I can put you there. Phew! Oh my god, pardon me while I die briefly. Oh my god. Um, I won't crack any of the bones yet. I guess I don't really need them, especially since I have the smoke guy. Oh, you are not taking him. Um, shit, what do I do? Shit. Shit. If I place the smoke, it's gonna want the smoke, and if I place the squirrel, it's gonna want the squirrel. If I use that to summon- okay, we're doing it this way. Um, squirrel. Yeah, take that. We'll crack a thing of bones preemptively. But the squirrel will stop the bird from showing up. Oh, did I- Go fish. Huh. Stop, draw- oh, right. Sorry. Okay, wait, this is good. If I- And then I- And then I can- Yeah. Yeah, that's not good. It's not good. It's not good for me at all, actually. Yeesh. Okay, I need to do big damage, which is not going to happen. I could find out what the knife does. It's the weight on the scales. Um, hmm. yeah, these sharks are gonna kill me really quickly. Um, I'll do that. Oh, I see. I see. I understand. I won though. It just took an eye. I can play the rest of the game like this. The lives are restored. <laughs> Not that I can see that. Use carefully. Ong Elk. I have no words for this freak of nature. <laughs> it kills whatever it touches. Okay. Um. So I know this turns into Mothman, but that takes like two turns. And it does seven damage? I I gotta fucking take the elk, right? Like Oh. Believe it or not, you're not the first to lose an eye here. I'm not surprised. This isn't much fun if you're half blind. Perhaps you'd like to replace it. Ugh, let's take that one. Thanks, man. Better. Regardless, the choice is final. Moving past the pond, you took a deep breath of fresh air and continued on. Hmm. Oh yes, I know. I'm being summoned. Bye for now. Goodbye! The relief of the fresh air quickly gave way to a bo bone-shaking chill. You guess at the path ahead as the snow increasingly obscured it. You have climbed to the snow line. You arrived at the inky black mouth of a cave. A strange beast lurked within. It spoke. Pass one of my trials and I will be yours, in a raspy voice. Three creatures will be drawn from your deck. They will decide your failure or success. I spoke again. First, you will choose a trial. Trial of power. Three drawn cards must have at least four attack power combined. Trial of wisdom. Three sigils. Blood. It. Ah. 
How okay, let me let me one, two, three, four, five, six. I have a lot of bone cards that could fuck me over on this. I feel like attack power is my best bet. Let the trial of power begin. One, uh, oh, oh yes, instant pass. <laughs> Five from Pixel. Let's go. <laughs> Beast revealed itself. It was. Oh. What? Bell ringer. I'm refreshed by this. Okay. This is a bell ringer thing with touch of death, a river snapper that hits twice, and a prong horn that moves, hits twice, and body blocks. I want to see what this thing does. The inhabited bell tentacle joined the mira mirage. Mirage? I said that word properly earlier, I swear. Real quick. I have the bones and that's it. I could hit the pack. Too scared to have something eaten by these people. And I don't know. I wanna... I could... I could sacrifice the tentacles and give it to Pixel so that Pixel has touch of death. But also Pixel does five damage, so assumably I'll kill anything I touch anyway. What should I kill? What could I, what could I give touch of death actually? Like, what would be useful to give Touch of Death? The River Snapper, maybe? I also... This is probably a special card. I probably shouldn't sacrifice it. Do this. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Do what you must. Um... Good increase the damage of this again. Okay, not eaten. I'll take it. Ah, oh, Lewis. Good old Lewis. You don't do much- Oh, God, seven. Fuck it. Um, hmm. Lewis, you're gonna be a sacrifice later. Okay, it's gonna hit the rock next at least. Okay, Lewis, you're not quite a sacrifice yet, I don't think. Yeah, you're not a sacrifice yet. Okay. Theoretically. Theoretically. Okay, wait. Could have the moose, the opossum, tank the hit. Originally what I was going to do was sacrifice Lewis and the opossum and then put the wolf over here. But I might as well just let the opossum tank the hit. Now it's back in front of the rock. Okay. Lewis can still be a sacrifice. I can just put that there. Now that's dead. Okay. Hmm. It's gonna do five damage. I didn't get a bone creature. Oh damn it, he's gonna win if he hits me. Shit. Mm. Thinking this is a dumb idea, but it will keep me alive. Okay. I gotta really hope I draw a bone creature. That's not a bone creature. God damn it. <laughs> Luckily, I still have another life. 
When will a worthy challenger appear? You fucking asshole. He's so rude to me. Okay, hi. We're nether trial. Sigil. Elf. Attack. I'm gonna do attack again. That feels like my best bet. God damn it. I want to remove a card. I could remove a card, do a trial. Oh, let's go over here. Let's brainstorm some weird abomination to make. Okay. Could give the alpha thing. Oh, I can't give it a pixel. I just realized my pixel card ain't here. Okay, um. Let's see, two health, one attack. I'll give it to you, actually. If they can just beef up a river snapper to be more useful. Oh, good. Give me my goat. Love that goat, it's a good goat. God damn it, it's the one thing I can't play. Mm hmm. Oh, it makes me deeply uncomfortable. Um. Kill the bird, elk. God, it's fucking freaky looking. Okay, uh, trial by pelts. Oh, and I can trade them right up there. Yeah, okay, we'll do this. I don't actually know if I have that many teeth. Oh, I'm rolling in it. Okay, um. Take all of them. Fuck that. Hmm. Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> what, man? You don't want me to take the knife again? Fuck you. I'll take the scissors, too. Oh, and the bones. God, my favorite items. Thank you, you're so sweet. <laughs> me again. Hey, man. Um. Good luck. <laughs> I can sacrifice the tail, can I? I can sacrifice that for blood as well. Okay, let me. Okay, per that's actually perfect, actually. Yes, you're being put there. Stop whining. I need you to kill shit. Three bones. I don't want to use the knife. I'm trying to get bones. Take a squirrel. Three bones. You'll kill that. Oh, I shouldn't have blocked. I should have just kept it. One damage isn't really that big of an issue, is it? Oh, okay, never mind. Two damages. Oh, cool. <laughs> I don't I have two bones, but I don't think I have anything I can summon, so I'll just take a squirrel for now. Yeah, that's fine. I can trade. What? What? Dam Builder. When a card bearing the sigil is played, a dam is created on each empty adjacent space. A dam is defined as zero power to help. So you just build a wall, which would be good 
by itself, I suppose. I think a low blood cost thing would actually be good too, I think. I'll go for a mole. Maybe a mole could be useful to me. Oh god, bones for days. Okay, um... Ringworm. A touch of death bullfrog. Mega bone coyote. Beaver. Well, that kind of makes sense, I think. Bone Coyote is hilarious. Um, <laughs> I don't like Touch of Death Frog. I feel like that makes that a bit more usable than... I think the Coyote, actually. Raise health. Um, hmm. Is there anyone I want to risk to raise their health? Honestly, let's just keep, let's just keep chancing it with the opossum, honestly. That's now a 3-3 three, three card. For two bones, I can get a 3-3 three, three card. A man stood before you, a man you recognized immediately. It was the trapper. You reached out to examine his wares, but he stopped you. Sorry, but today you will supply the pelts. Oh, knife! Okay. Okay, that's gonna kill whatever I get to attack it. Got it! Um... Hey gang, <laughs> stop that. This is actually kind of bad. Wait, will this only go off if it's attacked? Okay, so only if it dies is that a problem. So does that mean I could just put my goat there and have it be fine? Uh, do one damage. I will put this on the board to just block hits. God damn it, bones are like the one thing I don't want to worry about right now. I don't have bones. I need blood. So strange. How can I remember his name? I believe I lost my memory. The flash. Oh, okay, you... I have three bones, but I should really play something. Uh, yeah, you sit there and help me while I try and get some goddamn blood cards. Finally! Oh my god, you go there. You're a surprise tool that will help us later. Oh, fuck. Okay, I see the problem with this. I don't know how many bones I have. Thank god. Yeah, this is gonna quickly become a problem. You're gonna attack and you're both gonna die. That's fine. Just don't be mad at me mad at me when you die. Okay, cool. She wasn't mean to me. Um <laughs> Oh, so many bones. This is kinda good for me actually. Um Okay, blood card. Awesome. You go there. You go here. You go there just to block damage. Okay. This is fine. Uh, uh pelt's gonna die, but that's fine. Honestly, just start repairing stuff. Should I assume he's gonna kill all my cards? 
when the next turn starts. I'm gonna assume he's gonna kill everything, so I'm gonna put that down. Because there's no point in playing the wolf or anything if I'm just gonna fucking lose it, right? Too fa- Motherfucker! Too fast, too soon! Oh, fine. <laughs> you guys can't see it, but I'm flipping him off. Oh, god damn it, does that not work? God damn it, okay, let me think about this. One damage, one damage, two damage. God, if only I could get him to skip my next turn. Or skip his next turn. Hmm. That died. Oh, touch of death. That's right. I won. I don't have another card that's touch of death, do I? Hmm. Oh my god, I got another card that has Touch of Death. Shit. Um, okay, wait. No, I'm still gonna die, aren't I? No, there's no way I can... I cheesed this out one time. There's no way I could actually do it again, right? I don't have any items. Okay, wait. That dies. Does this kill me? It has to kill me, right? <laughs> okay, I'm dead next turn, but I'm shocked that worked as long as it did. Okay, um... <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, God. Uh, put that there and kill that and put it there. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh, I'm dead, but I put up a good fight, I guess. Yeah, yeah, too fast. I get it. I'm just too good at the video game, apparently. That's twice that's happened now. How slow am I supposed to be? Well, let's see if we can make another really good death card. <laughs> Stay there, no need to move. Going down swinging, exactly. I beat that once on my f on the tutorial run. I did actually get past the, uh, the fight. I don't even remember what I had. It was like a knife. No, it was scissors. I got past it the first time and I really thought I could cheese it out there, but I did- I didn't. But I put up a fight. I did go down swinging. Where did I put that camera of mine? Oh. Pathetic. You really think I would do- I would leave film in there. you have any idea what that camera is capable of? Give me that. Oh god, get your big hands away from me. We have a memento to create. I have an eye gouged out. Just don't do this to me. Now we begin to ink it. Oh, that's interesting. They give me the book now? I guess maybe that's to... Why do you give me the book here? I wasn't here last time. Why, why did you give me this? Wait. Hmm. Let's use a card to draw the cost from. We'll go one blood. Power and health. Hey, um. I guess this. And sigils. Eh, we'll just make a bone boy. Cheap bone boy. This can be BB's card. Make sure you get my good side this time. Oh. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> Not much for trading that last one. Be prepared to make the right deals. Gift from the Angler. You see, he was defeated recently and wishes to redeem himself. It would be unfortunate if you 
were to fall to the Prospector before he was given that chance. The book is powerful. They steal one of my cards with it. For that reason, you'll not find any others along the path. Use it wisely. Seems a lily stink bud ha bug has made its way in. But it is dealt so it stands. Oh, you're looking weird. Why are you looking like that? Oh, I skipped the dialogue. Instead, you may now decide on a tribe that you prefer. Um... I guess I have the stink bug. It's the only bug I have. And you're nothing. Um, I'll go with bug. A randomly chosen insect. You wish for something else. That's fine. An ancient woman emerged from behind an oak tree. She carefully laid out intricate wood carvings, then gestured at the at them briskly. Choose. Um. I don't think any of these are good. Flying. The old one bared her teeth in satisfaction. Your first totem was complete. An airborne sigil will now be marched upon all your squirrel creatures. Cool. <laughs> it doesn't. This doesn't seem particularly useful, but I'll take it. Yeah, your water wolves seem way better. Greetings. Look, there's a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever. He's the only one of us with a plan to get things back to normal. Okay. I shall keep that in mind. Stop that. Oh god. I wonder if I should... <laughs> oh, come on. It's for the greater good. See, we won! Because of your sacrifice, stoat. Okay, so I know- so this is me getting a card of that type. Um... So the sadistic pronghorn will be to those that meet the end of its antlers. Okay. Trying to get like a lot of cheaper cards because the expensive ones seem to be my downfall. Oh, hello. Gently shaking hands, she placed her offerings before you. Oh. That, this might be more useful to me. I only have the one deer, but it can fly now, I guess. I haven't, do I have much overkill? No, I have none. Well, there's no point in seeing that guy then. Let's go this way. Oh, right, I just started, I died. I forgot about that detail. <laughs> Nice top deck. Yeah, whatever you say, man. Put him there, put you here. That does no damage, effectively neutralizing it. Cool.
I see the way this is going. I concede. I accept my surrender. Or we may finish this match the slow way. Um, sure. I'm fine with that. Uh, beast card or random? I'll- I would like another deer. No deer. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Oh, my bag's already full. Fuck. Hmm. None of items you can carry is three, and you have three. Said, perhaps you'll accept this gift from my friend. Oh, hi. Oh, sick. We're in a pack rack. Never dealt the utility of a well-stocked pack. I'll take a card, sure. Hello. You're showing up in my top deck a lot. A lot, a lot. I have an idea. Not there. You there. Oof. Do that? Oh, hello. I did draw a card. You have me here, I surrender. Why are you keep doing that? Yeah, sure. This, I assume this is to push me through the early game going forward. You came across a hoppled man standing beside some boulders. You caught me off guard! I was supposed to see me till further down the road. Hey, I like me a gamble. If you can pick a boulder that has gold in it, you can keep it. Eeny meeny miny mountain <laughs> tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Out goes Y O U. Gross! Dang nabbit, no gold. That is a funny looking varmint. Keep it. Corpse Eater. A creature that you own perishes by combat. A card bearing the sigil in your hand is automatically played in its. Oh, so this auto plays if something dies and it's in my hand. Interesting. I think that's what that means. A new carving. I'll take a new carving. I guess I could take the bug one. I only have two bugs, though. I could give my bugs flying? It doesn't really... They don't really do much for me. I could also take bird, but I don't have any birds, so that's also... <laughs> Is this a bug? I can't see because the thing's in the way. If that's a bug, I'll just... We'll try it. Or is the corpse eater a bug? If I'm really lucky, the answer is yes. And then that means my corpse eater can fly, which seems useful. A chill mist closed in around you. You were not alone. A figure emerged from the fog. Hello. Let's do this, actually. We'll just leave it there so I can get the damage in. Then I will do that to kill you. Lots of bones. This is fine. Ooh. 
less fun. <laughs> You do two damage, and I want you to kill that. I'm gonna abuse this to put that down. I have so many bones. Awesome. Okay, this is good for me. Let's... better bird down, essentially. Okay, that's one. At least I get bones. Okay. Let's think about... So what do you do? We don't know what this does. This is... So the other tentacle was holding a, a bell. This one's holding a mirror. Oh, I see. Good. I should have predicted that. <laughs> Get him. Okay. This... Oh, this is actually fine. <laughs> Because then it's going to move after, so it's not going to die, right? Yeah, okay. I'm still going to eat that damage, though. Not good. Um, I wonder if I should use the hook or not. Can I get a bone creature? Oh, you are a bug. Awesome. You do two damage and never die. Okay, um... I put you in front of the dog, you will just die. Oh. Joy. <laughs> hmm. Take your dog. That's fine. A lucky draw. Cool. Okay, not bad. Could have been a lot worse, I think. <laughs> You will not perish quite yet. I will not. I need more bone creatures. I'm racking up these bones and they're not it's not serving me well. Stalwart Mole Man, the ultimate defense. K9, hooved, reptilian feathered insectoid. The amalgam the amalgam amalgam is all. I'll take that. I can have a flying bug guy. Rear the prospector's unhinged gaze, you looked ahead. We'll need another map. As the air grew humid, your boots became harder to pull from the mud. The dank smell of tepid water invaded your nostrils. It had reached the wetlands. Okay, I have died, so maybe I should look around the room. Again. Before I... Let's now a squirrel and a rattler. Uh, those are the same. Oh. I do relish snuffing out your excess candles before a boss. Perhaps you will now enjoy it as much as I do. Okay. Bunch of extra teeth. Still... No idea what that's about. Oh! What the fuck? 
Cool. I <laughs> didn't expect that to do anything. Okay, well, he's turned on now. I'm gonna flip through the book, actually. I want to see... Yeah, that's not a clock. I was gonna see if there's anything... I wanted to see if there's a clock in here somewhere that had the time on it. Because I haven't seen anything else for, like, putting in a time on that clock. So I wanted to see- oh! Oh no, that's just the- okay, that's just that. Any of these a clock? That doesn't tell a time. Okay. Seemingly not there. But I got some teeth and I lit up a thing now, so that's cool. Um... The underappreciated ringworm. Value is not readily apparent. The tragic rat king. When their tangled bodies become corpses, you can gain four bones. Right. I currently have a bug thing going on, so I guess I'll take the ringworm? Let's see if I can make my bugs better. Because flying isn't really doing me much favors, I'll be honest. <laughs> God damn it. These are both movement related. I don't need moving bugs. They're fine where they are. Uh, I don't have- I have one wolf, so... That's not useful to me. I should just stick with bugs. I guess the amalgam's everything. But again, it doesn't help me if they- f mm. Technically speaking, Taking the wolf head and making flying wolf stuff could be useful because then the damage goes past any enemies and stuff, but they're heavy hitters, so it's direct damage. I'll do that. Yeah, sure. Let's try that and see if that's good for me at all. Boop, boop, boop. Pardon. Or at least you can hit it for one damage. could also, like, kill them both and play the Amalgam. You're gonna die next turn. You shouldn't die next- okay. You know, we'll just rock with it. I am killing you. <laughs> Apologies, I am gonna kill you. Everything's flying, so I can't hit it. Hmm. I could... I don't want to lose a life here. I'm just gonna... It's one measly eye. What's the problem? God, can I get a bone guy? Please, bones? That's not bones. God damn it. Ah, oh, cut out my eye for nothing. 
It's painful to see. <laughs> You're telling me, buddy. You care for a new eye. Ooh. I like glowing eye. Oh, sweet Jesus. Find salvation in... <laughs> okay. In the clock. I misread that at first. Um, yeah, sorry, excuse me. Hello. Oh! Take the film roll before he sees it. Now. What are you doing over there? Turn to face me. What are you up to over there? Nothing! I'm not doing anything. Hmm. Is there anything else? Oh. Maybe? No. Okay. I'm not doing anything. I'm just a guy. I'm just a little guy. The Vernable Alpha. Its courage emboldens the creatures that stand beside it. Okay, now let's see if we can get a good carving. I'm really, really holding out for it. What the fuck? Okay, um... <laughs> I'll do Lizard Wolf. That seems useful. At least I can dodge an attack, I guess. That that seems like it could be could be something, you know. I ought to thank you. How has it been? It has been quite bad. Trapped in the body of a stout. Oh, you're looking real fucked up. The paper of a card. I see that. I have, of course, set up a way to reset once more. Go on. Our player friend here. They already hold the key. Oh, and you're a lizard! Good for you. He's fighting a bunch of bugs. The spot, you're sure? Yes, God, stop judging me. Dude, it, it does you no favors to judge me. I just gotta say that, you know? Wait, that seems like a bad idea. I shouldn't place him there. Um, you can go here. Here we are. <laughs> Oopsie. You found the stunted wolf. I've seen this play out enough times. Know that a plan is in motion. Make haste. I'm trying. I'm trying real hard, I promise. Um, I'm kind of killing y'all, though. Masterful. See, you're nice to me. I appreciate you. I could kill you infinite times, huh? You got this. Thank you. Uh, you're gonna kill the ant, which means you're only gonna do one damage. So this is fine. Ooh, never mind. Fucking hell. Never mind, that hurt so badly. Fucking hell. <laughs> well, that doesn't help me now, does it? I was hoping for bones. Bone creatures. God, those fucking ants. <sighs> fine, whatever. You're at the end of your rope. Don't fucking grab me. I returned. How's it going? I died. You'll have your teeth. I did have teeth. I got- I'm getting beat up again. Um, I found a stink bug, I found a wolf, and I found camera film. And then I immediately died. <laughs> Please, try to remain alive for just a short while longer. I like a memento. Your death card. Alright, let's try and make a fucking- 
Uh, cost uh, bones. We'll go with bones. Power and health. We'll go for wolf. Uh, card to choose sigil. Let's only do this one. Die out of spite. Uh, I never did ask your name. Prepare yourself. Death awaits. Are you ready? Oh, you know what they say, third time's the charm. I had such high hopes for that last one. What are bother trying to teach you? You... you will learn as we go. Or you will die. What are you looking at? Keep your eyes on me. That foul, stunted wolf. They want such a creature in your deck. What if it does try my temper? But it has been dealt. Okay, you look different now, too. Stinkbug looks the same, but fucking Stoat and the Wolf are looking weird now. So it stands. You guys good? They're probably fine. Um... I think that looks funny. It doesn't look different to me. I might just be stupid though. I'm I hate I'm so tired of those fucking turtles, God. So it was a TV. Yeah, so it's just a TV now, and the wolf looks like it's grown more fur. <laughs> Here. If you must, do what you must. Pick something else. The stoat has a real attitude problem in comparison to the other two, I must say. So I'm gonna hit change from the beginning, definitely. Here, I'll look at them again here in a second once I get a chance. Oh, I guess the 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 head is different, right? It doesn't seem as drastic of a change as the other two. <laughs> There's a lot of shit happening. I took the film roll. That correct? The plan nears. It's moment of truth. You must defeat him first. Okay, so I have to win before... Okay, um... I can do that. I'm not that bad at this game. <laughs> they had mandibles and bug eyes and, like, segments. Oh, I see. And now they look kind of more like a person, I guess. Sorry, dude! <laughs> Fucking killed you, my, my bad. It's fine, Turtle will save the day. Let's go visit the Prospector. Cause I got a good card from this last time. Uh, me, meeny, miny, moe, iron by the toe. If he hollers the out goes what I owe you. Only bugs under that boulder. Strange varmint, that one, you want it? I mean, I guess. I don't really got a choice now, do I? The pack was full, but a small critter approached. Oh, yes, thank you. Pack rat, always useful. This is a totem fight. Wolf? Oh, fuck. That's not good. Um. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello, hello. I'm, I'm having a crisis. An opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space. A card bearing the sigil will move. Oh, no. They're all guard dogs. Oh, that's not good. Uh, kill it. <laughs> I need you to kill it. Good lord. It's fine. Don't panic. Um, let's see. Oh, nope, nope, that's incorrect. Um Okay. You only have one health, so you're gonna die. Mm. 
play you, actually. This will s Oh, I thought it wasn't gonna move for a second. I was gonna panic. Um, this is fine. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> It's hard to tell when you're doing well at this game or not sometimes, because the tide can turn so aggressively quickly. But I did win that fight, so I'll take that. Um, choose a creature or choose... I'll choose a creature. Maybe I can get Long Elk. Goat. Goat is good. You like goat. My pack is full again. Do I get another pack rat? Oh, I do, I do, actually. Cool, I didn't, I didn't actually think I'd get another one. <laughs> Flying defense deer. That's fine. Nice top deck. Oh, you know, you're just saying that because you're here. Oh, actually, no, you're not lying. This is actually really good. <laughs> what? Oh, it's not undying. I should have played the turtle. In one of my previous runs, I had it so the goat didn't die when you sacrificed it. And that was really, really useful. Uh, considerably less useful. Hmm. Um. I wish you could see your deck, like your full deck in battle, but you cannot. That's fine. Ah, oh, pets for BB. Good, he deserves it. Okay, let me think about this. Get your hands out of there. So this only pulls a single two. You know what, I'm gonna do this actually. Ugh, gross. Because when I play the pack rat, it's going... Hmm, it's going to give me an item. I could also play river guy. Snapper. Okay, wait, let me think this out. You do no damage and you're slowly, slowly killing it, which does not help me. You're going to do one damage next turn, which is that bad. I'll, you know what, we'll do this. Put that there. Oh, ghost! <laughs> Can I use that now? I might as well use that now. Give me that. Get in my hand, I'll play you next turn. Then I'll do this, and then do this, and then do this. Because at least it does two damage and brings me up to equal. Yeah, so... Do this. You're gonna be a problem, so I'm gonna put the squirrel there. Now that blocks that damage. No, it doesn't block it because you killed it, you bastard. God damn it. Oh, thank god, you... I concede. Um, I'll take it. You're... <laughs> I could probably maybe pull that back, but you're also beating me up real bad. I'll take it. Um, that's the pelt lady, and I don't have any pelts, so I'll get a card. <laughs> Listen, we don't question why he gives up sometimes. We just appreciate it, and <laughs> thank you. We just appreciate him giving up, and then we move on with our lives. I think I have to beat the full thing. Oh, yeah, give me squirrel bones. That's a really good, actually. So every squirrel that dies when I summon stuff will give me a shit ton of bones. If I can get a bunch of bone cars, that'll work out really well for me in the long run. Let's smoke. It is great indeed. Okay, so it's... Oh, um, I hit a... I turned on a skull earlier. That might have done something. It's fine. You know I can play the sad music. It's fine. We'll live. 
You passed a massive empty bowl, surrounded by heaps of unidentified giblets and scantlings. It seemed the bowl was designed for a dog. What earthly hound would require a meal of that size? <laughs> Where's that hound of mine? Okay, so I'm gonna be rolling in bones. Which works well. Rude. Baby. Okay, um... Oh wait, do I have... I do have room. I don't want to play the pack rat unless I have, like, room... For, uh, for an item. Which I got- I can make him skip his turn. I won't do yet. <laughs> Death take me. No, do not do that. Quit it. <laughs> that's negative self-talk and we're not having that on my team. Oh, that's phase one done. Oh, hey, Yosh. Gold in them cards. Oh, right. Sorry, stink <laughs> Fucking died. Okay, this is fine. This is fine, because I can prepare. How's it going? Um, good, I think. I've done a lot of the puzzles, so now I think the game is telling me that all I have left to do is, um... Easy boss, just pop that mule. I'm working on it. I think that... God, what was I saying? I think what the game is telling me to do now is now I have to, um, beat the game, which I haven't done yet. I made it to the third boss, but then the game murdered me because I was going too fast, apparently. So, you know how it is. Um, you can- oh, okay. You can kill an adder. You're good. Kill a snake. Stoats are like- Snake, wait. Yeah, stoats can kill snakes, for real. Kill it, it's fine. What could possibly go wrong, right? Uh, I think I win? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Good, glad to finally catch a stream. Hell yeah. I didn't even kill the mule. That feels anticlimactic. Alright. Oh. The amorphous amoeba. Its sigils are ever-changing. Well, I do have a lot of bone cards. Or, well, I have a lot of bones, rather. I'll take bone guy. I'll take weird little bone guy. Wiping the dust from your trousers, you return to your journey. A moment. Tepid water flooded your boots. Flies swarmed around you. You had entered the wetlands. I need more cards, I think. If I can get bone cards, that'd be really good, actually. The Adept Kingfisher, a slippery hunter. Beehive rat. Okay, um... I love this game's sound design. I am a fan of it. I love the atmosphere. I said that earlier on. It builds really good atmosphere really quickly. And the sound design is a big part of that. I... I'll take Fish Boy. King Fish Boy. I'll, I'll take him. And I'm full up on items, so I'll take the carving. If I can get something better than Bone Squirrels, I will be pretty surprised. Oh... Blood Squirrels is also pretty good. I'll definitely take this. But do I rack up bones or do I rack up blood? Can I look at my deck? How many bone cards do I have? Only these two. Bones aren't as important to me right now, so we'll go with blood. Because I think that means I can use squirrels to, like, summon anything in my deck now. You see the- happen to see the- See the Yuppie Psycho Dev's new game teaser. Did they post a video? I saw them... Where the fuck is my phone? <laughs> I 
I saw them post the, um, like, some art and stuff related to Project Mosquito, I think is what they called it. Did they actually post a teaser or something, or just, or do you mean, like, like, I'm sorry, like a video teaser, or do you mean they just posted, like, the... They did, they're making a 3D game. Okay, I'm gonna really quick, just really briefly, I'm going to, um... <laughs> very quickly, I'm just going, uh, buh, 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 and being, um, distracted. Oh, yeah, they posted a lot of shit while I wasn't looking. A few hours, new info about the game, voiceover. Oh, and they posted music and stuff. Yeah, because I saw the post they made, the one that's, um... The the thing that that's their pinned tweet now, that, like, featured some updates and stuff and the announcement of the project name, Project Mosquito. I saw that, but I didn't watch the video yet. When is something... I, oh, okay. Hmm. I'm going... If I die again, I'll go and watch the, um, the teaser. And if someone reminds me, I can always watch it <laughs> on stream before we wrap up for the night if I don't forget. Because I'm curious. I'm really surprised to hear that's 3D, to be honest. I think it was worth playing first. Um, none of you, all of you do one damage. So, hmm. You have the most health, I think, so... Listen, man, it's your problem. Their second game is 3D. I guess they're making two games. Okay, because I saw the sprite work they had posted, and I assumed that, um... That it was another 2D pixel art game like Yuppie. But it, it might be one is like that and the other is the 3D game. You will kill that. And then the snake will kill you. Ill. The 3D one looks right up your alley. I see, I see. Uh... Bone? Ah, oh, bone card, thank god. Okay, let's do this. I don't care if the ant dies, so... Oof, almost. <laughs> Greetings. Hello! Find... Fluffy Wolf. I'll be honest, in, ter in terms of like new games and stuff going on, my entire brain is just taken up with like... The only other game I can think of that I'm like really excited for right now is the new Spider-Man game. Because of course I am. Reginald. Oh, you have Death Touch, Reginald. You're coming with me! <laughs> I'm excited to see the studio's new games though, the Yuppie Devs. I can't remember the name of the studio offhand. Um... I am- I, I'm interested to see what they do next. It's funny because I wasn't as big of a fan of their very first game, the court game. Um, I just found it was a little clunky and like the story wasn't as engaging. Something about Yuppie is just fucking weird enough that it keeps your attention. I really like Yuppie. So I'm hoping they continue with their weird vibes or something. Um, to the user, nothing will happen. This bottle of goo has no use. I'll take him. A new friend, I guess. I'm excited to see what they're up to. Tons and tons of indie games on the mind as of late. Not many big games got me excited. That's fair. There isn't really a lot going on in the big game scene, is there? Okay. This is kind of a waste of the goat. 
But I want that you be your guard dog now, I guess. <laughs> you can't even guard anything because they're all flying creatures. Fuck's sakes. Uh, can you do anything? Serious, you cannot use that. There's no possible use for it. Place it on the shelf over there for now. My advice, avoid it. That looked like a, like a dude though, like a like a like a little slimy dude. Okay, the bee can sit in front of that tree. There's no problems with that. Um, going to actually do that. <laughs> Once again. Guard dog bad at guarding because it literally can't. Okay, um. Simply wishes to perish, pour him down a drain. Probably been game of the year. Cosmic Shake, this is game of the year already. I don't think I have a game of the year. I feel like a lot of people are saying Tears of the Kingdom are, is game of the year, and I don't think they're wrong necessarily. But I ain't playing that for a while, I think. Oh god, another hourglass? Fine, I'm gonna use one of them. I'll pass. Yes, you will. I get a bone guy. It's not a bone guy. Um, I'll be honest. This <laughs> the amoeba's kind of useless, so I'm just gonna kill him. <laughs> there we go. Bone. Oh, thank God. You're right. I am lucky. You're a delight. Now kill things for me, please. There we go. Up on two and ruin DLC or big releases. Yeah, I, I remember when in the fucking PlayStation show they announced Help Wanted 2 uh, and I was watching it and, and Jay was in the kitchen. And I just remember like nothing at that point had been even remotely interesting to me because we didn't I didn't stream the PlayStation show because I was just getting home from work as it was starting. So like it was too much of a hassle to like get home change or whatever and then try and fucking sit down to stream it so i wasn't worried about it <laughs> but yeah i just remember calling the j being like hey guess what just got announced fucking help wanted two of all things i mean obviously it's too early to say yes <laughs> i agree i i'm trying to like what the fuck was even released this year in terms of a triple a title because god knows an indie game will never win game of the year they really wanted that help. Uh, bone cards. God damn it. I got the most expensive one. <laughs> Zelda. Zelda was here. I love Zelda. Yeah, like, I feel like Tears of the Kingdom might be up for it. Spider-Man's probably going to be up for it. What the fuck else is even Game of the Year worthy? Like, nothing? No idea about most things. I'm really excited about any and all Haiti 2 news. I, I suspect we might, I don't know if there's any like, are there any like shows happening during the summer where they might show more Hades 2 stuff? Cause if not, we're probably not gonna get Hades 2 news until Game Awards. FF16, I guess, people seem hyped. I, yeah, fuck, I guess FF16 could, could do that. Oh yeah, <laughs> even they seem unsure. Okay, two health, what deserves more health? I could give Reginald more health. Um. What? <laughs> hey, you know what, Reginald? You have more health. There you go. Dead Space Remake, Tears of Kingdom, Kirby Road to Dreamland, Cosmic Shake, not sure what else. I don't. There's no way that Kirby or Cosmic Shake are gonna be game of the year. They will be up for awards, I think, probably in the family category together, because the Game Awards is trash and has trash categories. <laughs> but I don't think either will be up for Game of the Year. Mainly because Kirby's a remake, so that seems unlikely. A man can dream. Listen, man, I could dream that Kirby's gonna win an award one of these, one of these years, but God, it's probably not gonna happen. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hmm. What are you here? I'm one bone short. I can't summon Reginald. Engage clearly. Definitely surely. I feel like Engage can win something, right? Like, it's perfectly possible for Engage to win something. Oh, hi. Um, hmm. You're gonna kill the beehive. I don't want to just tank three damage. I'll put that there. Probably like strategy game or whatever. Yeah, probably. Oh, right. B. Then I can put this down. There we go. Lots of dudes. Real sad about Cosmic Shake. Compared to Rehydrated, its sales dipped. Rex Hook is one of the best lights in the game and platformers. Lots of shame that it doesn't. I must trust you. God, you scare me. I heard mixed up about Cosmic Shake, I think. Haven't played it, though. I don't dip my toes in those waters, so that's more of a <laughs> an in-between discussion for y'all to have. Pizza Tower? Pizza Tower might go up for something. Maybe platformer or something? I don't know what genre it's defined as, but I'm assuming it'd go up for... I guess not platformer, but um... Whatever you'd want to call it. Oh, he died. Um, sorry about that, man. It's fine. <laughs> oh. Just kill. Just kill some stuff. It's our death game of the year potential. Cosmic Shake Slap still speed running it. Looking at, at the list of games from this year. There's a new game from the same lines that made Grease, so I'm expecting to be traumatized. <laughs> I never played Grease, but I've like just heard so much about it. Um two guards must be the same kin, five bones or six health. Uh my best bet is definitely six health, I think. Who? Oh, Reginald! <laughs> Reginald coming in! <laughs> Glutch, fuck. <laughs> we love Reginald. Uh. Hmm. None of these are good. I'll take that one, though. Let me let me Google this game y'all are talking about, because I recognize the name, but I think I need to look at it. Let me see here. I definitely heard of this game. I'm wondering if it's one of the ones I put on like my horror back burner. Oh yes, I do remember this. Played it when my grandma died, generally helped, and also the one time I laughed when I got the notification. Depression unlocked. Oh, it's a survival horror? I knew it was horror, but I didn't realize it was just straight up, like, labeled as survival horror. My old. I tuck my phone back away. Um, I don't need items technically before this boss fight hmm I could give Reginald something well I can't give him flying because if I give him flying he becomes useless I could give something else pack rat you know what what if I give my goat, pack rat. It's cheaper. Sorry for remake. That was this year. It'll probably win stuff. Yeah, probably. I find it's hard to predict the game awards. After the fucking year that Last of Us 2 swept the awards, I've kind of given up predicting what will win. Because you're always going to be wrong, and you're always going to be sad. <laughs> That was the year that, like, like, I didn't have faith in that show before. That curb stomped. 
<laughs> Curb stomped my fave in that fucking thing. That was the year where I was like, okay, this isn't an award show anymore. This is like some awards are handed out, but I stay for game announcements. Like, you excited to watch it on stream again this year? It'll be a fun time. Yeah, we're definitely gonna do game awards on stream. We always do game awards on stream. I think we have consistently for like the past, like what, two years now? Must be like past two years. I haven't been streaming on Twitch that long, but you know. Okay, how am I, what am I doing? This is all bad, God damn it. Okay, let's just like do this. Careful not to be copyrighted. I've never gotten copyright striked for fucking, um... For, uh, the Game Awards, actually, shockingly. Okay, I have a plan here. Do this. Do this. And then do this. Take the squirrel. enough to play this. Yeah, why not? Yeah, the only reason you'd be uh, copyrighted for game awards would be if you, uh, for some reason, didn't talk over the fucking music performances. <laughs> Ninja might win something again, as it tends to every year somehow. Oh, oh god, what do I do? What do I do? Oh, what? Um... I should probably just do this to get it out of the way. You're gonna take that, which means that can't attack me anymore, which is good. I could, could, I could. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna kill these. Kill that. In the next turn. Let's see what's up. Hey, okay, never mind. I need to do that so you don't steal my guy. That's fine. Long Frontiers are TM. TMNT should have won best OST last year. I don't even remember what won fucking best OST. Was it anything that deserved it? Oh, you screwed- oh, I screwed him. He can't attack me anymore. Cool. I can just do a bunch of prep work until he starts playing more cards. This is fine. Cool. Take squirrels, idiot. God of War, I think. Let me look. This is really funny, actually. This is really good for me, actually. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, I'll do this to get the item, squirrel, and I'll just do this to put this down. Yippee! Was in fact God of War. <laughs> I remember it was Leagues Below, Song for Tears, work on TMNT. God of War and Elden Ring won most of the show. That's right. I, I was like fine with God of War winning. After the trauma of The Last of Us 2 winning everything, anything was better. Um, oh, I have a lot of blood now. I could get the big boy. I can get the big boy. Dangler's foul smell slowly faded as you continued on. Let me see. Okay. You think Last of Us 2 is overrated? Yes. 
deeply guess. <laughs> it is not good enough to win the entire- It was not good enough to win the entire fucking show. I was also personally slighted because Psychonauts 2 was up for some awards, and I'm pretty sure Last of Us won in categories <laughs> versus Psychonauts 2. So, I don't think it was, like, worth it. Um, I do blood or sigils? I have a lot of fucking sigils. Let's try sigils. Um, one, two, oh, okay, good. No, you had two. Nice. Yeah, no, I, listen, I don't have a lot of investment in the Last of Us series. I played the first game and liked it. Wasn't into the vibes of the second game, heard the criticism against the second game, whatever. I did not think no matter what you want to say about that game and what it did for the franchise or anything, it was not worth winning that entire show. There's no way. <laughs> It was such a shame. That was such a depressing year. Psychonauts 2 didn't win anything. I was so sad. God, it didn't win anything. I wanted... Tim Schafer was there, and if I remember correctly, Tim Schafer was there in, like, a suit or something. Like a, like a... I'm gonna try and find the picture of him. He was, like, in a little outfit. I just wanted him to win something so badly so we could get on camera in his weird little outfit. And I was just so sad for him that the fucking game didn't win any awards. So sad. Um, hello. I could kill Reginald. Give something else touch of death. Let me think about this. Okay. I kill Reginald. I know we love Reginald. What's something that might be better to give touch of death? Maybe you? Actually, no. I would rather... No, wait. I want to keep Reginald. He's, all, he's three bones, right? So... What if I give... This... But that defeats its purpose. Oh, God. I could have a flying... You were really... I'll do that. That seems powerful. Look, I'll play Psychonauts. It's so good, dude. I love Psychonauts. Played the entire game in a single stream. I love it so much. And I'm gonna do a full playthrough of the sequel at some point, because I love it dearly, and I need to have massive brain rot over that game on stream more. Trick Kirby's gonna probably be up for best family game. God, let it win! Please! <laughs> it, it can deserve it! The new Kirby game is so cute and charming! It's a good time! Oh, you a Luli. Hey, wait, I need to think about this. Give me this. Okay, wait. Hmm. I want to put it there, do I? It only has three health. Wait. Hmm. And I only have two bones. Instant win. <laughs> in Kirby in the front land win when it came out. Family game, I mean. Oh, maybe. Maybe it did. It needs more. <laughs> Kirby needs more awards, I've decided. What the fuck is that? That's a mushroom. Can't wait for, the for that stream of the sequel. Uh, I can't do a single stream of it again because that'd be crazy person behavior. But I will be doing a playthrough of it. Okay, I have a lot of teeth, so this is probably good. I don't have enough for that. I'll take these. Nick Ulster Brawl won best fighting game last year. Funniest and best choice. Uh, mushroom. Found yourself among a grove of thick and pungent mushrooms. You squinted to see a figure through a thick cloud of spores. Hello. We're performing our experiments far from from you're not welcome elsewhere. We'll experiment on your flock, yes. We need two of the same creatures, one for each of us. Do I have any doubles? <laughs> um, sure. I think this could get messy. Look away. Awesome. 
Thanks! Anyway... Okay. Power and... Um, I'm... You know what? I'll just put this in front of the, the moose and see if that helps when the time comes. Not really. The answer is no. Alas, we meet again. Hi, you're probably gonna die swiftly. I'm sorry. Um. Hmm. Use me wisely. I will not. Okay, what items do I have? This. Yeah, skip your turn, man. Hmm. Briefly was considering. I could hope for bone creature. Bones? God fucking damn it. Okay, not bones. Why did you move, you bitch? No! Ugh. <laughs> That's fine. I've been doing lately is browsing itch.io for games fun times. I keep thinking of doing that, but I'm scared that if I start doing that, it's just gonna fucking, um, like, multiply my list of games I want to play, and that's a dangerous gamble. Mm. So I have not been touching itch for games ever. What have you done to that pelt? It's monstrous, yet I must have it. What do you think of these? Ooh! Sorry, what? <laughs> Fucked up. Okay, wait. Oh, I could get a 6-6, six, six, but it costs eight bones. 2-2. Two, two. The one, the cat. Oh, cool. Okay. Um. The bat is really appealing because it has four damage and flying. They're very appealing options. Um. Oh, I do get two of them. Sick. Okay. Hmm. Porcupine. Oh, I have- the buck is really useful, actually. Because I have the- the three- the three blood- I can summon it really easily with my squirrels, so that's really helpful, actually. I'll be shocked if you can offer me something better than three blood squirrels, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, nope, none of this, none, none of that, none, that's not better than anything I got. Give me blood squirrels. Give me that. You're not beating that. Uh, I could meet up with that guy again, but I don't have, I don't have two of anything, so that's not really useful. Unless I get lucky here and get a duplicate. Hmm, <laughs> eh, I'll chance it. All the things to gamble on, why not that, you know? It's got need eight bones for that for that fucking bird. Not good, not good. <laughs> the ultimate not good. I died. Links some all in the back. I think I'll stumble upon the place with Majora's mask. Good luck. That's five Lynels. 
All right, death card. A cost on blood. Our n oh yeah, from the Yululi. Let's make it flying. Ah, oh, that's a good card. I thought it might be when I killed the third one. Yeah, that might be it. That might- that might do it. Love the idea of you getting three for five in for Lionels and being like, You know what? I think Evan mentioned something like this. Uh, perhaps your ears will make it f farther than a foot of the totem. Knock on wood. What is that? Try to stay focused. Starting deck. Alright, hello again. Alright, let's... <laughs> I gotta beat this game and I gotta just really get my shit together. Oh, hello. Fetch this magpie. You could fetch any card in your deck. Oh, that could be useful, but it costs two to play. Got a pack rat. Perfect. It was a calculated decision, but man, are they bad at math? <laughs> That's my downfall. For like some of these fights even, just like not just being bad at math. I'm gonna pl oh, I wanna play Wolf Guy. He's great. There you go. You got this, man. Wait, but... Oh, he does two damage! I was- Fuck! <laughs> I wasn't looking, I looked at it backwards. Gonna dip for now, it was fun drawing for a bit, I'll d DM you after. Yeah, sure man. God damn it, I was not paying attention. Um, my downfall. Okay, you kill it. God. There. Speaking of being bad at math, God. Okay, this is gonna die from hitting you though, right? Well, no, you're gonna hit it and kill it. Yeah, okay. Hey, Stoat, forgive me for this. You don't have to, actually, but, um... Yes, I think you've got me this time. Thanks. I have, like, one tooth. Leave me alone. Oh, that's... Thanks, man. <laughs> At least it gives you one for free, I guess. Let's... Anything different around here? I haven't actually taken a look around in a hot second, so... That one's new. <laughs> Go to the tent. Hi! <laughs> Played a fucking siren. Hi! Arr. The pain is unbearable, even after all these years. What do you want? I have very little to live for these days. Ah, uh, he's done. Master is free. Oh, the end must be close now. If Magnificus is free, it must be close. Watching the angler lose. Now that soothed my pain. An old arrival of mine, that fisherman. He bested me at this time. <laughs> Don't ask me what this voice is. He bested me at this time. <laughs> but I will have another chance. <laughs> Don't Don't ask me what that character voice was. Oh, hey, T. Give me that. Oh, there's mushrooms here now. Is that because I found the guy? Mushroom guy. <laughs> He's just 15 drinks deep. It's the numb the pain. 
Whose favorite game didn't win at the Game Awards? No, you're right, that is what happened. Both of these statements are true. Um, I don't- I don't need a pack, I guess, because that's just gonna give me another pack rat, and I already have one of those. Health. Uh, giving you more health might be useful. Oh, why not warm it by the fire a moment longer? One of the starving survivors took a step closer. Would be risky. Luck was on your side. Perhaps one more moment. No, 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 no. Give me that. <laughs> this baby deer, or this baby fawn is swole as hell. Okay. You do one damage. I need to make sure I don't read the um the stats backwards because that screwed me over. Oh, is there a spider? Gross. I hate spiders, but just a side note about me. Uh Just put a boulder. Ah, uh, bah. Just put the boulder here and just <laughs> prep for the next few turns. Hmm. You get him, wolf. Single handedly by yourself. Oh, here we go. There. Run head first into a <laughs> into a rock a little bit. <laughs> not my Colorado ass getting annoyed. They called it a fawn and not a calf. Aren't fawn deer? Fawn are deer and not cows, right? Because calf is for cow and fawn is like a, a a deer, right? I'm guessing, obviously. Draw a card. Oh my god, you're so needy. Draw a card. Are you happy? Yes. Okay. I'm not an expert. <laughs> I am what some might call, um, a dabbling dumbass. <laughs> uh, I'll take a one blood. God, these fucking ants! It's like summer. They're just everywhere and I don't want them. Travis for cow and elk. Ah, I see, I see. Touch of deaf squirrels. Now we'll do bone squirrels for now. I can get blood scrolls again, that would be awesome. <laughs> Fucking ants. Tell me about it, right? again. But you can't be hit by that, I think, so you're dead. You hit that. Scoop. Oh, you're done? Okay. Listen, I'm not opposed to skipping some fights. Unless it looks like I can get overkill damage in and get like a bunch of teeth or something, I'm, it's not worth it, honestly. <laughs> Jesus, okay, um... Grizzly, Great White. You also get the Tentacle guy. I'll go for the Grizzly. I don't really have the blood stuff for it yet, but... Maybe I could get the blood totem right now and it could be the sickest thing ever. Oh, god damn. Uh, I only have one wolf and that's him. Uh, they're good for me, I'll just stick with bone squirrels, I guess.
It's fine. This is the first fight. It'll be, it'll be nice and easy. It's like in Slay the Spire. If you die to the first fight, then you should be embarrassed. Boss time, eh? Alas, we meet again. Hello! All these nice little guys. Um... Okay, I need to put- I need- I need to put the fucking stoat here. I can't put the wolf there. That's how bad things happen. Bad play. Shut your mouth. <laughs> Stop that. Okay, I need to now start farming blood sacrifices for the grizzly bear. You're gonna wipe my board, right? I'm trying to memorize what each boss does, because you're gonna wipe my board. Which is not a bad thing for me, because it gives me time to prep cards. What do I have right now? Two squirrels, a ringworm, an adder, and a rattler. I'll take more squirrels, I think. It's gonna fucking take the dog. I'm not even gonna get a chance to <laughs> your dog now. I'm not even gonna get a chance to do overkill, I think. I can play the- Ugh, Come on, fucking damn it, man. Let me just play the game, god. Anyway. Oh, that won't do overkill, will it? Damn. I can't- Yeah, I can't destroy- Oh well. to get Pixel to play a game. We have a bunch of cute guy little guys. Someone's talked me into playing some game series before because of cute little guys for sure. This this game's not a good example of that <laughs> because I wouldn't describe it as cute. Um, but yes, you are correct. I am easily swayed. All right, what lands? Did I do that? Well, give me that if you're gonna be weird about it. Um, I only have one item. Let's do that. I started Call of the Lamb because of cute guy, <laughs> little guys. People keep recommending Cult of the Lamb to me, and I feel like I should play it at some point. Because I feel like I would enjoy it. Great draw. Okay. Here's how we're gonna do this. We'll do that. God, these fights always seem so scary. You're good so far, but I can die in less than easy mode. I am not good. We're making a comeback. Can I do more damage? The... I can't... It's called, like, card counter or something. What does this do? Let's... 
Just don't die for me. I just need to find out what this does. Does the attack match how many cards are on the field? I guess I, I guess I can't find out actually. Wait. <laughs> A farming and people-pleasing master though. My little guys are always happy. Look at that. That's good cult leading, probably. Um... Cockroach will be good to go with my bones. Pack was full. I can get another pack rat. Or, I, do I have a pack rat? The runs start to blur together when you die enough times. Yes, I do have two of them. Well, if I can find the mushroom guys again, then that will probably be useful for me. Oh, that's right. You count as everything. I forgot about that. So many bone tokens. Crunchy. Okay, so so let's see if this actually No, it's still one. Value represented number of I thought it would be the number of cards. Oh, maybe it's the number of cards in my hand. Wait. Yes, it's the number of cards in my hand. Got it. Squirrel Wrangler. Very good, very good. It's me! And very angry. Oh, that's amazing. 7-7 seven, seven for single blood. That's f fucking a great card. It me! Hello. You can't give me something better than bones. Yeah, you can't. Um, I'll take that and then make my bone squirrels. Bone squirrels are unbelievably useful. <laughs> oh, the mushroom guys. I, I need to go this way. I want to... Fuse my pack rats together. And I'm going to win on the <laughs> on the first turn. Yippee! <laughs> God, that card's so good. And I have more teeth for you. I've been doing a bit better this time. Not a lot better, but there we go. Okay, I really want to fuse these pack rats together. Cause it's gonna make it like a 4-4, right? You bring us two of the same, we would like to experiment. Yes. I'm not gonna do the rabbit pelts, that's dumb. You may want to avert your eyes. Progress is progress, amen. We're all about progress around here. Any, any, any progress is good. I mean, I have a pretty good deck this time. I'm not gonna be cocky and say I might, like, beat this, but this is a good deck at least. What you first mistook for a misshapen boulder appeared to be a hulking man who attempted to sneak past him, but your foot made contact with the metal bucket. I am the angler. You are the fish. Okay, can I get a really good card on my opening? Good opening turn. Mmm. Could be worse. Could be far worse. Um. I could. Wait. I can't draw blood from a rabbit pelt. Fine, fine. If you say so. Well, well my bad.
fine. It can take the pelt. I'm gonna let him take the pelt. Cause that just frees up a slot for me. Oh, but I'm getting oh so close. Um, to bad things. Um, right, 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 right. Lucky draw. Shut your mouth. <laughs> So Guy's just gonna have just a ton of squirrels on his side of the board here. Which is not the best because I need those, but um. I need to save you, so we're gonna put that there. Yeah, that's not great. Um... <laughs> yeah, not great. Not great for me, this. I have so many tokens. It's gonna do eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I will be just short of losing. I don't know. If I cut out my eye, will it- No, it won't tip the scale so I- Okay, new plan. I survived this, right? Just barely I survived this. <sighs> okay. Bones? That's not bones. Okay. We're losing a lot of eyes around here. Okay. I'm gonna do this, which is gonna- Lock one of them. Finally, bones. Again. Oh, I'm still gonna lose. God damn it, I'm still gonna lose. Were you as unfaltering as the cockroach? Hmm, go fish. Wah. God damn it. Alright, new death card. Oh! It's gonna be free. Oh, this could be really good. Please, please. Okay, f a free 4-4. Four four that goes back into my hand when it dies. Ugh. I've run out of names. <laughs> I've died four times, that's all I got. Ugh. Here, Moon, this is gonna be you. Bebo, it's too late, it's you now. <laughs> Now I'm like, do I do one more, or do I call it there because I've died again? Logically speaking, I should call it there because I've died again. Be prepared for what lies ahead. 
be impaled on the angler's hook, like the one who became who came before. You paying attention? Your mind focused on the game. Give me this fucking deck. Study it. Up to you, really. I think last saved three seconds ago. I think I'll call it there. I think I've made good progress, because I think I'm at a point where the main thing I need to do now is just beat him. We're going to watch something. Oh, yes, here you are correct. Let me let me pull up the thing. I wanted to watch the teaser for the Yuppie Psycho Dev's new game, because as Yosh was saying, apparently they, they put up like a nine minute like dev teaser thing. So let me... Oh, thing? We love thing. Yeah, so the, the game is called Project Mosquito, apparently, like the, the name and stuff. Let me... Oh, it's like six minutes. That's not as bad. Devlog number zero, what we're doing. One sec. Oh, stop that. In, f in the face of relative silence on our part, we have chosen to keep our fans updated on our development through a video devlog format, of which we present the first installment. Okay, well, let's... Get out of inscription. Oh, it's me. I don't know why it does that. Ooh. I need to do some cropping. Give me a second. Don't mind me. Uh, yep. Yep. I don't know why I'm doing this. I think I have a video format specifically set up for watching YouTube videos. I don't have to do that. Fine. What 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 do we do around here if not have stuff be like a little bit scuffed, as they say? That's good enough. There. So this is like a devlog for their new game, and I wanted to check it out. Oh, Steam, please stop screaming at me. I would appreciate it. Oh, they're auto-generated. That might not be worth it. Welcome, Broke Decay fans. It's not usual for us to take <laughs> Broke time to Decay? Fans while we work on a new project. Because development takes up all of our time and energy. This is kind of quiet. In this chronicle, we'd like to briefly discuss three different topics. We can't guarantee frequent updates and new devlogs, so we're using this as a way for our team to confirm that we are alive and well while we continue working on something new. The end of Yuppie Psycho. <laughs> Yuppie Psycho is our second and, to date, most recent title. We started working on it back in 2016 when other games like Stardew Valley, Valhalla, and Inside were being released. Our original idea was for our first game, The Count Lucanor, to pass the baton to our new title and improve upon certain aspects to make it closer to the ideal game we wanted to create. Among yeah, to be fair, I think Yuppie is, is far better than their first game. A vulnerable protagonist who reacted to his environment, a setting separated from conventional fantasy that felt familiar and grounded and a title that was easier to pronounce in English, as well as creating new mechanics and other technical improvements that were less ostentatious, but- God, I had so much fun with the Yuppie Psycho playthrough. While we expected a positive result due to the reception of the Count Lucanor, everything that Yuppie Psycho achieved has taken <laughs> us by surprise. Development took three years, between 2016 and 2019, adding an additional year and a half to include the release of Yuppie Psycho's free DLC included in the Executive Edition. The base game was received so well that we wanted to add more to the experience, including more quests, story, levels, and characters. This update took so long because the development took place as we had begun working on porting Yuppie Psycho to consoles. We handled all the work ourselves to ensure quality. God, I remember like flashbacks from my playthrough, the more she the more scenes they show. Engine, which isn't the most God. compatible with current consoles, so we had to convert Yuppie Psycho to mono game. Regardless of how long the process took, it allowed us to continue adding new. Ah, oh, Tiki Taka. 
with the added bonus of including feedback from fans of the base game to take note Love of that guy. and expand the game's universe. Nothing exemplifies that better than Tiki Taka, a character that functions <laughs> as the final boss of the security floor and as an alter ego representing our fans. Finally, there was the physical release of the <laughs> represent He was supposed to represent the fans. That's so funny. You can check out how to get some of these exclusive items. I gotta go back and watch that. This is all unfamiliar to me. I, I did an edit of it um on my YouTube if you don't want to go and watch like all the VODs. I, I did do an edit of that of that playthrough. It's on my YouTube. Physical merchandise representing our work. The booklet and many other add-ons Oh! I didn't say I have the Mr. Devil plushie. They showed there. I have it actually. I don't have Bar I don't have Brian, but I do have Mr. Devil. He's uh he's sitting on my shelf actually. Jay has has their plush um on their desk at work. We both got one. Additionally, you can even find game sprites and sound effects available for free on our Discord server. Oh, that's cool. The question is, what's next? Don't expect Yuppie Psycho 2. Which doesn't mean it's been completely ruled out, but our attention is currently set on other projects. That's what we're here to talk about today. The other projects. Yes, please After show me your other things. During the process that followed the original release of Yuppie Psycho, when we were still working to accomplish all the goals I previously described, the possibility arose to start developing something in parallel. This required a new team while the rest of us focused on finishing Yuppie Psycho. We came up with this project during the worst of the global COVID pandemic which inspired a medical setting, centered on a protagonist who is always sick and isolated at home. When he finally goes outside, he discovers a world that's gone mad. What made it more interesting to change teams was opening up the possibility that came with exploring other genres and styles. This project was going to allow us to go through spaces in three dimensions, inspired by games released on the original- Ah, so this is the 3D game Yosh was mentioning. On combat and exploration where the only defenses the protagonist had was the ability to recruit anthropomorphic medicines to fight for him. A mix between Pikmin and survival horror. However, this isn't our next project. In reality, this project- I can see why Yosh said that that game might be up my alley. I do love low poly 3D. As well as the new team's urgency to develop other projects. This doesn't mean that the project is dead. It's currently paused with the hope of resuming in the future. Once we finish our next project, Interesting. Now, let's talk about what's coming next. Our new game. Codename Project Mosquito. Yes. What is Project Mosquito? Okay, so I was right. So this is project. this is more like this time, pixel art style, style yuppie game. Style of games. Fans of the Count Lucanor and Yuppie Psycho will be happy to know that Project Mosquito stays in the same vein as those games. Oh my god, does it take Almost place during like a in a mall? Of one shot stories. Oh my god, does it take place in like a mall? Please. I love I love this recent wave of like retail horror that's been happening. Like no delivery. No delivery. Um and what was what's the name of the game? We're open or whatever. I fucking love this retail horror th shit that keeps coming out. It's so good. It looks like it's multiple locations, maybe. Which you've been listening to throughout this video. We're working hard on defining the basics of the game and creating a strong prototype. It's still at an early but promising stage in development. It will still take more time to be finished and released. At least a couple of years. That's all we can say for the moment. Couple of years. If you want to know more about Project Mosquito, we hope to officially announce the game and its official title later this year. Stay tuned cool. and follow us on social media, our Twitter, and our Discord, where we frequently drop images and hints ahead. This of was the sprite I saw posted on their Twitter. Was this character? <laughs> cool. Well, that's fun. That's exciting. I'm happy for them that, that they have a few projects going, and they definitely have my interest, both with the 3D one and the more typical pixel art sequel, quote-unquote sequel, continuation, let's say, that they have going on. Ugh, very good. Alright. Well, with that funky little devlog watch out of the way, we'll wrap her up for tonight. After sinking like three and a half hours into Inscription. Lots of fun. Much fun had with Inscription. I am glad I'm finally playing it. I'm hoping I can make more headway next time, but I do feel like I made a lot of progress tonight. I just need to beat 
like a run of the game, I think. I just need to beat a run of it, and then, like, I'm golden. <laughs> but until then, until next week when I get back to it, we'll call that there. Not sure if I'll have any time or energy to do any extra streams. I either want to do OC references for Art Fight, because Art Fight is, like, now basically officially a month away. So I've started the overhauling of all of my OC references and everything. Um... And I might also do another duck stream so I can finish working on writing up stuff for the art book I'm compiling. Because that was weirdly effective for my workflow that one night. Got a lot, work, a lot of work done in like the two hours I was streaming, just chatting with people and while well, duck game was on stream. Oddly effective, so one of those might happen again in the next few days as well. <laughs> uh, but until then, I will be back next Wednesday with more Inscription. Hopefully folks had a good time. And I'll see y'all whenever I'm back up again. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Bye-bye.